How was your travels? Oh, my travels, they were fantastic. They were great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You said you met some people in the Highlands. The yeah. Kibu, the the Mamos. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. It was really great, you know. Because the story is that there is this, uh, they, they, it's called the so-called Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. It's in Colombia. And um, and there is there are some some tri tribes, I would say, but maybe not tribe is not maybe the right word, but they are, yeah, tribes. And they, they are from a very old culture. You know, it's a high culture. They they had they had they had before before the Spanish came into into the into South, yeah, indigenous people, and they had you know really cities and so on. So they very very high culture, and mm -hmm. and then when the Spanish came, they retreated up to the mountains, um, and mm -hmm. and for, for 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 good luck, they the Spanish were not so interested anymore than going up into the mountains, so they could hide there and maintain their culture. And mm -hmm. and they are very wise men, you know. They have a really deep, deep, deep connection to 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 the nature, to the Mother Earth, and also to the ancestors. And and so I got a lot of really really deep deep wisdom from them, deep talk, deep teachings, um, and also a very very um, yeah very deep psychologic psychology about how to heal how to heal trauma traumas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That was really something. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was. Wow. I was really blessed, to, blessed to to get this get this knowledge. Um, maybe once and we. You said your son with you was with you. Yeah, my 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 son was me with me. My stepson and my brother was with me. So we we were like a family family journey. And and yeah, we. Oh man. We, yeah, it was fantastic. And then we met 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 some of the mamos of this wise man. They are specially trained. They have a very very strong training over years. So like almost ten years, they are only in training. And what's so impressive is that they are extremely. Um, they have they have a great ability to focus. I've never seen something like that. What? To focus, focus. You know, to be very focused, very concentrated. F O C U S focus. Yeah, yeah concentrate focus. Concentrate on one thing. Yeah, on one thing, and yeah. so they uh -huh. do okay. their work. Wow. You know, they do their work, wow. and what they say is, yeah. they have something. They call it a luna say, and it's like, a, I would say it's 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 quite similar to the Akasha field. You know, what you what we have in India. I, I heard uh, I heard you once yeah. talking about that, <laughs> or the quantum field. Yeah. Yes. And what they yes, do is yes. they, they connect and they, they sit there and concentrate for hours and hours. They can do it even for days, you know, just sit and fully, fully focus and concentration on this field. Yes. And then they do their work. And yes. ah, it's, it's fantastic. And Almost then, like a doctor or a lawyer who's gone to school multiple years to be able to practice yeah. or to be able to know how to operate within the specific field that they've trained for. Yeah. But you talk about quantum uh, physics and uh, on the quantum level, the Aikachi record, that's divine energy. I mean, that's the very energy that we're using to talk with, you know? Yeah. Uh, if you connect into that, I don't even think you need food, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to build you up. They're almost like manna from heaven, you know? You get um, uh, energy from the light source. You know, sun is energy, and if food is our energy, then I'm sure the sun could feed us if we're on a certain wavelength, a certain vibrational frequency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I guess they have absolutely, absolute knowledge about all these things. Yeah. And, and this is what, what, what they, wow. what they say is, you know, it, what, what, we, what humans don't understand, they, they call, they call the Western civilization, the small brothers, you know, they say this, these are the small brothers. We are the big brothers. They are the small brothers. They call, they call who? They call the Westerns, you know, the Western civilization. They say they are the, oh, okay. the small okay. brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they, yeah, yeah. they say they, <laughs> the small brothers, they, they have forgot how, how it works. And, and they say it, whatever you, you, you bring, you, whatever you push into, the, into this Alunasi field comes back. So this means... 
Yeah, yeah. So this means if you if you bring uh, negative thoughts, negative emotion, whatever, yes. then it will be yes. it will it come back. Yes. It comes back to you. Yeah? Yes. And it comes. And what do we say? Hmm? What you put out in the universe, yeah, you get back. Exactly. That's yeah. divine. Yeah. And we, it just <laughs> you know yeah. commonplace thing we say, not knowing the philosophical divinity of what we're saying, the ancient wisdom embodied in that concept. You get what you put out. Yeah. Exactly. Give back what you put out. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And and what what is what I also really like is, um, I experienced that also already in last summer when I was at this at that Kiva ceremony. I think I talked about that, where all the wisdom keepers from all over the world came, um, that they have this. Um, they have very. They have all very similar things. The one is the ancestors, you know, and they really. Yeah. They Absolutely. really appreciate the ancestors, and they have a they have a they have an understanding or a connection to this, and and <laughs> I, I, I see how important that is, and they say all yes, all healing starts also with 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 your with where you come from, you know. So they say already yeah. it's so important. For example, um, the 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 moment of your conception, you know, when when you was were, were conceived, it's how how what was the mood of your parents? You know, what was the thoughts of your parents? What what was, was the emotions? What was the intention of your parents in that moment? That's very important. <laughs> well, we say that the emotions of the mother affects the child. Yeah, that's yeah um, yeah. You know, and then they have it's ingrained in, in Western. Yeah, yeah. Now tell me, tell me. Ah, okay, so I go on, and um, and so and then they say, um, and then they have like yeah, like methods, like protocols, maybe a little bit like the steps you you told me in in one of our last talks, a little bit different, but you say protocols. Yeah, protocols. Yeah, protocols. You go through steps. Yeah. Go through steps of healing, and and uh, that's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful work. I do the protocols now every day, and it's really, really a big relief. And I think that's that's good work. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to experience something like that yeah. in my life, man. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Oh man! Yeah, the big wide world. Yeah, it's all open soon for you. <laughs> that's a. <laughs> I can feel just to be able to experience that to be therapeutic and to gain the knowledge that they have, like I said, the indigenous knowledge that's being given then that's been brought from times past, man. It has to be just uh, overwhelming and uh, um, inspirational. Yeah. It has to be uh, just, uh, I can imagine the feeling. I can't imagine the feeling that one has just to be in it, to, under those circumstances. You said a keeper means is it a definition for what a mystic, uh, psychic, medicine man? Oh, okay, maybe uh, maybe I I didn't the teacher. Yeah, no, I I tell you that kiva is a ceremony, and uh, I, I experienced that last summer, and it was in Germany, but it's an, a very international thing. It's just by chance at the moment in Germany, and it's 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 um, a ceremony. I think it was invented by the Hopi um, ind indigenous people, Hopi. Hopis, yeah. <laughs> And what they do, they they dig uh, they they dig a big hole into the earth, and the hole is you can imagine the hole is like maybe, um, um, let's say maybe sixty feet in diameter or something like that, huh? and it's wow. maybe okay. yeah, and maybe maybe I would say maybe ten feet deep. So it's quite a big hole because they wow yeah so they it's it's wow. and and the and the hole is is like a place for where they connect with mother earth yeah and then they they do almost like a portal yeah like a portal and then they do ceremonies they go down and do ceremonies though there down there like you know indigenous ceremonies they go into it yeah they go into it down and oh so they go into the earth wow yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 
And but you and then you can stand around the, the you know like people like me normal people you can stand around and, and watch them and then be part of it you know and you stand around uh, uh, on the on the on the edge so up up on the edge of the hole and you see them down oh, oh, on the surface you're not down in the hole no you're on the yeah surface, in the surface you, there's there's a certain moment where everybody goes down also but in the, during the the ceremonies it goes four days four days and nights and you stay st you keep out you just stand and watch. And you do do your own things. You do sweat lodges, for example, what is very intense sweat lodge. And and what is the special thing at the Kiva is that they have wisdom keepers from indigenous uh, indigenous people from all over the world. So they had like yes. medicine man from the Amaz <laughs> Amazonas, but also from Northern America, from British Columbia, but also from from for example from Mongolia. They had shamans from Mongolia, oh. or from Siberia, yeah. or but also from from ocean or from you know, you know the the Pacifics from 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 the Moloks, Oceania, yeah, Oceania, yeah, uh -huh. and from New Zealand and from Africa, oh man, and also from Europe. It was also very interesting because there also, also in Europe there are still some old traditions of of these shamanic traditions and the old wisdom keepers. And so it's like a gathering. All of them come together. All come together. <laughs> it's fantastic, you know. The energy must be incredible. Yeah, I beautiful. Can only, wow. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. <laughs> really good. <laughs> oh wow! wow hey, wow. We, 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 once we uh, once we'll go together to once uh, to such a ceremony. We will oh, experience it together. That's it. <laughs> That'll be experience of a lifetime. Yeah, that's it would like be. Will, it will wow. be fantastic. <laughs> Uh, my good friend, I'm looking so oh, much forward to do, to do something with you together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. It's gonna, it's gonna. The universe is gonna bring all of this to fruition. Whatever it is that, that we intend to do, or that is meant to do, we are meant to do on the horizon. Mm -hmm. It'll come to pass. And it's uh, to speak of something like that. It's just like, uh, wow, wow, wow. I, just, I... <laughs> ah, that's uh. <laughs> oh wow, wow, wow! Uh, Healers from all over the world. That's something that I need. I've never had therapy all the time that I've been in prison from uh, what I've gone through and from what I've did, and uh, that is vitally important, necessary for me to have uh, upon getting out or at some point in my life. I've told you I need a doctor, a dentist, a dermatologist, and a dog when I get out. Most of those things are all about healing or mm -hmm. to fix it mm -hmm. uh, for the most part. Yeah, that they're related. Going to a a event such as uh, a Kiva with medicine men from all over the world, or for healers from all over the world, yeah. I can, uh, that would be therapy. That yeah. would be healing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it will be. Wow, it will be. Wow, wow. Yeah. So, um, so um, tell me, tell me a little bit about you. Is there any any news, or is just life going as it always was, or is do you do you experience any changes now in in your situation and in your life at the moment, inner or outer changes? Well, uh, for the most part, my daily routine stays the same. For the most part, there, uh, these days are rather mundane and run of the mill. I haven't done anything different from what I've done from the last time I talked to you. Okay. Mm. My, Excuse me, my interchange primarily has to do is centered around my meditations and the the things that I do every day and attempting to order my day so that I can, when people ask me, how am I? I tell them that I'm wonderful so I can stay full of wonder. Um, and that involves just my meditation as soon as I get up in the morning, yeah. brushing my teeth, having me a sip of water, and having my 30-minute meditation and trying to center myself for the day and allowing that to order my day. And to get my mind right, and to connect to something that's otherworldly or outside of the energy, the space that I'm in, first and foremost at the top of the day. And then uh, try to stay mindful and aware of that energy throughout the day, in regards to what happened to people are intercept, to stay mindful of that original energy or connection that I've had early in the morning throughout the day until it happens again the next day. So just the tip to try to be conscious of not the Akashic record, but the where the Akashic record is at, you know, in the universe, you know, because there's something much bigger and grander than myself yeah. and what's going on with me at present and to be mindful of that and to not redo. 
reduce my thoughts of the illusions that I see of all the little petty stuff that goes on, anger, frustration, fear, you know, whatever, ignorance, to be connected to those things. Um, mm. helps me. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. That's, that's what I'm trying to stay at. Yeah, that that's that's inner journey. Yeah, yeah, that that's your big strength, you know. That that is that is part of the training of your life to <clears throat> to create this really strong inner journey. Because you you have, have been, you know, uh, very very little distracted, you know, in, in the place where you are. So and I think that yeah. this will be well, I, I'm sure this will will be will blossom that will be so strong when you're out. I always think about the place that I'm in, where I'm at, establishing a uh, my music, the mood, the lighting, the smell, and the the the, uh, uh, the place. I mean, the time. Just having a place of meditation every day, being able to make it the way that I want it, you know, and how much uh, effectual that would be when adding other elements into it. You know, it's ah, uh, uh, <laughs> when you can really get in a peaceful space. You know, you're not here where it's all tumultuous and there's a cacophony of sounds. You can go out in the woods and hear the, the birds or the crickets or the yeah. squirrels talk yeah. or listen to the air whistle mm -hmm. versus hearing, you know, other guys whistle, yeah. chirp, talk, chirp and charlie, as I like to call them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, it's all right. It's going gonna, gonna to come to pass. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, I think there is also a change. I just think that there is a big change because we are already now more than 20 minutes into our call and there is no interruption. What happened? <laughs> Want to say that again? You know, we are more than we are more than 20 minutes in our call and no, no interruption. What happened? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the whole time I'm on a different phone. The phone that I'm on right now goes for 30 minutes. Oh, uh, this, okay. This phone hasn't been fixed. For the whole time I've been in the dormitory, just a week, maybe or so, 10 days ago, they just fixed this phone. And I didn't know that it was that until I used it. I was like, <laughs> I just found out like you found out. Like, oh, you see <laughs> this. And I ain't gonna tell nobody. <laughs> I don't tell nobody, so I'm mean, just like, I use this phone. I use, to, I use one of the other two, which is 15 minute span. This phone allows 30 minute calls. So I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. <laughs> Very special phone, I have yeah. to say. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if they, 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 they didn't put the, I'm not sure, but whatever they did to it, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for it. You yeah, know? So, <laughs> we are grateful. <laughs> not that it's a secret, but. Oh, really? I, oh, absolutely. Okay. And I accept it for what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, this, but th these are the little things that, that are nice and, 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 and it's always good to feel the support, you know, feel, feel. The, yes. Yeah. yes, 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 yes. Uh, it, it shows that things are, are not static, they change, mm -hmm. things change, they're not just set in stone in, in spite of what we may think about them or how we view them and we think that, you know, all oh, this won't come to an end, but nothing is permanent in this world for the most part. You know, everything is temporal. You see, from it's going to pass like a black cloud. It's giving a minute to blow away. Mm. So, um, as I said, this has to be aware that keep that in mind and accept that. So, yeah, and then being able to do that, it helps ease the worry and the uh, just anxiety about in the moment. This is nothing. Just, <laughs> just give it a minute <laughs> or two or ten. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Um, you um. Mm -hmm. Tell me. You wrote in your in your email about comments from the um. Yeah. The people on the site. Yeah. That we should do a talk about comments. Yeah, that that's exactly what I was also just thinking about. I just opened already the the, the YouTube channel to to have a look. Um, and um. I think it would be nice. Um, the, the first thing is may, maybe maybe you want to, before we go into comments, maybe do you want to give some little words to our listeners about, I, I, I remember once we, we, I, I sent you some of the comments and you told me that, 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 that this touched you a lot and, and they are so positive. They are, oh, you know, normally in, in YouTube channels, you have often also very critical comments, but there are, 
99.9% super positive, happy people who wish you just really the very best. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want to just to say maybe a few well, words, words on that? Yeah, well, I think our, um, our view of the world is indicative of who we are as people. Our character affects our interactions with others. And I, I would think that if you would see a child in the circumstances they've been in for decades, irregardless of the circumstances that put them in that, for that place, you would have some visceral response that would invoke thoughts of children that you have encountered. And you wouldn't debase or defame someone who was sick with a disease. You would attempt to try to help them. Even if it was contagious, you would try to... You have one minute remaining. You would attempt to try to lead them to some help or help them yourself to the extent that you could. Or you would uh, get away from them. You wouldn't, as I said, you wouldn't chide them. Ah, oh, you're sick. You know, you wouldn't make fun of them. You know, but for yeah. the grace of God, there go we. So, yeah, uh, knowing that people po uh, comment positively on the interaction that we're having, what would be the, the purpose of someone coming into the space that we're in and having negative comments? Yeah, they may not agree with what we say. That's just an opinion. Okay, then, then, all right, I get it. And you would comment about the specific topic that we were talking about and um, express the opinion. But, yeah, I would say that those who would have a negative bent or ideal about what we're talking about, Uh, it's just their opinion, and it speaks to who they are as people, and I have no problem with it. I have an opinion, they have one. I would just thank you for commenting. Anything else? <laughs> well, okay. Those who have had enjoyed the comment and done so positively, it's great. And I'm, I'm thankful. Thank you for using GTL. So now that's the interruption only after half an hour. That's fantastic. Um, and... I will take the next call from Ariel, and so let's wait. Hmm. So it might be that he doesn't call a second time. Would be sad. I hope he can do it. I still don't get a call in. Okay, dear friends, so that's life. Um, there's a very special situation, as we all are aware, and maybe the technique uh, of didn't work for him maybe he couldn't call a second time so yeah sad but we will go on we will have another call and so i wish all of you um, a good time thank you very much for your support thank you very much for all your your comments on the channel um, the next time we will take your comments some of them and then talk about them and there are some questions i see we will try to answer some of your questions And so long, please go on to support us. Um, please forward that, um, like it, um, become, uh, become a member of, of the YouTube group. And um, yeah, thank you very much and take care.